I made $5,000 off this one stock alone, which is what every single guru tells you without telling you how much money they put up to actually make that amount. So today I am going to tell you one, how much money I put up to actually make this $5,000 Two, how much money you should probably be investing or trading with. And three, what are some really cool stocks that you could actually get into to make pretty nice returns on a day to day basis, week to week basis, month to month basis, year to year basis. You get the point. I'm almost rapping. Anywho's, you better get to tapping because I broke my wrist last week and I'm not capping. Dang, I'm kind of fire, but actually I broke my wrist. Um, and that's because I was tapping the like and subscribe button because somebody snitched and told me you didn't do it. So please, if you haven't already, make sure you tap that like and subscribe button. And uh, let's get into the video. My name is Kelly OG. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And I teach people how to make money for a living. I'm already running the number one trading group on this planet. Cash, cash, I started trading a little over nine months ago with $26. And I've since started to over $100. So because I already took profit on this trade, I actually can't see how much I put up, but I do kind of remember this was a trade that I took on Friday, which was April 1st. That's not an April Fool's joke. And it is currently Sunday, April 3rd. But if I am right, I had two positions in this trade. It was an Nvidia put, Nvidia the stock. A put is when I make money off the stock going down. And Nvidia went from like $272 to like 263, which is a $10 drop. And it was on a Friday on the day of expiration, which if you know anything about options, that's when you make a boatload of money. I know. Oh no. Whoa, so ranks, big ranks, uh-oh. But, um, anywho's, my point being, so for the first one, I put up around $4,000 to make that 4,000, so it was a little bit over 100% return. And then I got back in and I put in about, I think I put in about $1,000 and I made $480. Um, and that was just on a really, really quick fall. Um, I was in and out like lightning. But yeah, so that was about it. I put in in total maybe around $5,000 to make about $5,000. So that is 100% return. I doubled my money. So essentially when I sell, I sell for $10,000 total. So that is how much I currently made. So for a lot of people, they often ask the question of, okay, well, how much should I look to put in? Because at the end of the day, you don't want to put in $100 to only make 10. You want to be like me where you put in $100 to make $100. Now, does this happen on a day-to-day -day basis? Not always. Sometimes I will put in more money and then settle for a lower return because, hey, if I put in $10,000 and I make a 10% return, well, I can walk out with $1,000 every single day. And that is $300,000 a year. And I know people personally who literally do that. Now, um, a lot of people tell me, Kelly, you're kind of misleading in your videos. You never actually tell us how you make $1,000 a day. And I'm like, the proof is in the pudding, AKA my YouTube channel. Every single video I post that has like, hey, these are these charts, these are this, this is how you do this. Hey man, I'm telling you how I make it. But when you are trading or investing, the return is what really matters because you want to see how far your money stretches. And did you know that nearly 70% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account? Dude, that means only 30% have over $1,000 in their savings account. And let me tell you guys something, rent is more expensive than $1,000, okay? And so is your mortgage. That's really unfortunately sad. But the point is, we are trying to take trading and investing and leverage it for our use so that we can make more money and more money and more money so that $1,000 in the bank account is a checkings account that's a bad day. You know, so essentially, we want to see how little money can we put in and how far can we stretch it. That's why we get so excited when people invest in Dogecoin or in Bitcoin or in AMC or in GameStop and they end up turning, oh, this guy turned $20 into 18000 And you're like, oh my gosh. Because nobody wants to hear, hey, this guy turned $2,000 into 2300 And everybody's like, he made 300 bucks. I mean, for some people, that's like a couple days of work, but still a lot of people want to know. So. Let's get into how much you really need to start investing and how it works. But don't boom, boom, let go. So determining how much money you really need to start investing depends on how much money you are actually comfortable with. So I actually devised a mini little list of what I believe 
and I usually see referred to as a small account, a medium account, and a large account. And generally when I get people that join my group, they often say, well, how much do I need to start with? Or they say, how little can I start with? And I know a lot of people, when you work really hard for your money, you know, you go to your job eight hours a day, maybe you work overtime. I know a lot of nurses work 12 hours. When you go to your job, you often are working really hard for your money. So you don't want to have to deal with the issue of, oh my gosh, hey, I just made $300 and lost it in three seconds because I was wrong on this trade and it took me three days to make that $300. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. What's all gone? The money in your account. It didn't do too well. It's gone. What do you mean? I, I have $100. Not anymore, you don't. Poof. So, it really depends on how much money you have, and I know a lot of people are often starting with about $100. So I like to refer to a small account as anywhere from $1 all the way up to $999. And I say that's a small account because obviously you can start trading with a lot more. Really, I would say one to 300, but I say one to about a thousand because, hey, that's just generally a really risky number for people. People like to start lightly in that area. And I often see a lot of people that start with $100. So I personally started with $26 and I've scaled that immensely. But um, yeah, so I see a lot of people that are like that. And that is just what I consider a small account. A small account, anywhere from $1 to $999, you know, less than that $1,000 threshold. And that's generally where you're making a lot safer, you know, positions on your trades or even investing. Now a medium account I like to refer to, especially with trading, anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. This is like where you have a little bit more leg room, okay? You can get into some of the big boy trades, but you generally stay with the small accounts and that's completely fine. It doesn't make you any better or any less. And oftentimes when people do start, they are not as educated, so they don't make as much as they come in expecting. Like I will tell you, I made $5,000 in one day and it, it was really a matter of like an hour and what happens is people hear that and they're like i'm ready to join i'm ready to join let me start doing this but they don't have the knowledge or the education that i've really had or the backing and so when they come in they put in a lot of the money that they may not have and it actually ends up hurting them so i do not want that for you and because i don't want that for you i'm just saying take it a little slow i think everyone should start out as a small account unless hey let's say you make millions of dollars a year and you're like bro i'll put up 10k and risk it and i'm like okay by all means that's on you now speaking of 10k what do i consider a large account honestly me personally a large account is anywhere from five thousand dollars and above you know that's just generally what i consider a large account now some people like to adjust the numbers they like to say a thousand to five thousand is a small account five thousand to ten thousand is a medium account and anywhere from 10,000 above is large. I like to say 5,000 above is large because you really get to Bamba. You wanna G with the big boys. Like that's really what you get to do. And um, hey, you can play with the really big expensive stocks and make a lot of money off of them, but you also are putting up a lot more money. So it really is up to you. I personally like to start small and scale it because this is the way I see it, right? If you start small and you scale it, when you take that eventual loss, because losses are inevitable. They happen to every single person. When you take that loss, you can think of it like this. Okay, well, if I started with $100 and my account's currently at $1,200 because I've made $1,100, well, boom, if I now lose $400, hey, man, guess what? I'm still $700 in profit and sitting at $800. So that's the way you can really see it. A lot of people want to go in with the big bucks and they want to see if they can make a lot from it. And that is completely fine. Like I have nothing against it. It's your hard earned money. And it depends on some people are better risk takers than others. Um, me personally, I had no money to my name when I used that $26. I had 50 bucks sitting in Robinhood and I used half of that 50 bucks to get into a trade. Cause to me, it's like, what else could go wrong? But that's equivalent to somebody having $500 and putting 250 into a trade. So. That is just personally what I think in terms of accounts and what I would consider a small account, medium account, large account. Now, your question may be, okay, well, Kelly, maybe when I'm trading, because I personally trade options, maybe when I'm trading, some of these stocks are more expensive than, you know, what I would really budget for. Like, 
I have $100 and they're all going for $100. Or I have $300 and most of them are like $200. And I don't want to put all my money into just one trade. So what are the best stocks to actually trade with depending on your account size? So for small accounts, I like to personally say, hey, stick to the small market cap stocks and mid market cap stocks. Now there are ways that you can definitely utilize large market cap stocks, which are the $300, $400, $200 stocks. Those are the ones you're really gonna see the big, big boys, like the Teslas that are over a thousand dollars. That's where you're really gonna see a lot of that growth, um, but a lot of money too. So because of that, I like to tell people, start with the small cap stocks as a small account. Those are stocks that are anywhere from zero to $20. Or to make it a lot safer, anything under $99 will usually be affordable for your price range. Now for medium accounts, anything that's, hey, let's say um, $200 and below will generally be your best friend. And anything for large accounts, I mean, you have the whole ball game. You can really play with whoever, whatever. Does that mean just because you get into a large cap stock, you will make more money? No, because there are times when those small market cap stocks have not been moving and they shoot up out of nowhere and you make thousand percent returns in minutes. Shout out to Robinhood back in October because that thing was insane. But yeah, so anywho's um that is that is really what you can really play with now as a small account you could still get into larger cap stocks but if you know anything about options your strike price matters so you will likely have to get a strike price that is extremely out the money can it still make money absolutely because what you have to think of it is if a stock moves twenty dollars hey let's say you make about 20 bucks per 20 dollars you walk out with 400 bucks and maybe it only costs you 50. You turn $50 into 400 and you're asking a girl who's seen it happen time and time and time again. So examples of small, large, and mid market cap stocks we have for small accounts. I really like Neo, Lucid, and Affirm. Those are like the ones I really like. And Affirm used to be a mid market cap stocks. The market dipped. It's not as much. You can also do beyond. You can do uh, so many, anything under hundred dollars should really be in your ballpark. But I really, really like Neo. I really like Neo. I like playing Neo a lot. Hood is a good one too. Now for medium accounts, these are my absolute babies. I personally have a lot of money that I really could put in, but I like to stay with medium account stocks. I never trade Tesla. I never trade Amazon. Those are just not stocks I'm touching, but for medium account stocks and mid market cap stocks, like medium market cap, I really like Square, aka Block, so SQ, NVIDIA, as y'all saw this morning, and Roku. Those are my top three babies. You could even throw Etsy in there because I love Etsy. They can move a crazy amount of money and make you a crazy amount of money without a lot of risk. And lastly, for large cap stocks, you're looking at Tesla, Amazon, Google, and you could even throw Nvidia in there sometimes as well because Nvidia can get kind of pricey when it's moving. So those are the ones I really think that are good for people. So the question now becomes when you are looking to invest and you're looking for how you can make money, you don't need a lot of money because what people tell you is, oh, you need thousands of dollars to invest and you don't, you really can start with as little as, hey, $26. So really just look for stocks that fit your account size and um, definitely trade. I prefer trading um, more than, you know, if, if you have, if you need or want to make money right now, investing long term is not right now. So it's not going to help you. Should you still invest long term? Absolutely. But if you're looking to make money day in, day out, that's when you look at trading. Um, it can be incredibly profitable. It has absolutely changed my life. Um, and I love it. And I've helped change so many other people's lives and it feels so insane. So speaking of, if you want to join my group, we are the number one trading group in the world. And that is no joke. Um, we can compare our results with anybody. So just make sure you click the link in the description and you join. You can get 50% off your first month using the code one S T M O N T H at checkout when you sign up. So Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope I wasn't all over the place. I try to keep it straight to the point with how returns work, with how um, what your account size should look like and what stocks are kind of the best that I personally like to get into. But 
Yeah, so just remember, just because your Instagram guru told you that he made $5,000 or she made $5,000, they could have had $100,000 in a stock, which I've actually seen before. Somebody had $100,000 in a stock. They made $2,000. They started bragging about it. But I mean, I know what it looks like to have 100,000 in, so they had a 2% return. You gotta think of it, you put $100 in, you make $2. Is that something you wanna do? You wanna look for what will stretch your money the farthest. Any who's, again, please help my risk get better. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you wanna see next. You are watching Kelly OG in her new temporary studio, and I will see you guys later. Good night.